Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be wrapping up the Weeping Peninsula and Limgrave by taking out all the side bosses. And after that, we'll be making our way to Stormvale Castle. But before we do any of that, let's go ahead and talk about all the stuff I did off camera. As usual, the first thing that I did was farm up 165,000 runes. That is a ton of runes. It took me quite a while to get all of that. So if you don't feel like doing all that, you don't have to. It's not going to be detrimental to completing the bosses. Like You'll still do just fine. I also went ahead and leveled up my Lord Sworn's Greatsword to plus six. I went ahead and put the Ash of War Sacred Blade on it as well. We're going to need that a little later. I also upgraded my Claymore to plus four. And then I put on Radagon Scar Seal. So how Radagon Scar Seal works is it will raise all your, well, not all your attributes. Hold on. It'll raise your attributes. And the attributes that it raises is Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex. And it'll raise those by three. But you'll also take more damage. So it's a give and take kind of talisman. I prefer to use it. You don't have to use it. But I like it. And that is all I did off camera. Let's go ahead and sit at this grace. We're going to go ahead and level up. Vigor to 22. Endurance to 22. Strength to 22. And Dexterity to 22. And because we're using Radagon Scar Seal, our stats will look a little something like this. So we'll have 25 Vigor, 25 Endurance, 25 Strength, and 25 Dexterity. We're going to sit back at the Grace, but I, I want to show everybody the stats real quick. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and pass the time till Nightfall. And we're going to fight our first boss. This is going to be a Knight's Calvary. They can be quite difficult at times. Hopefully nobody has too much trouble with them. Oop, missed him. Be sure to aim for the horse. We want to knock him off the horse so we can get a critical hit on him. Kind of like we do with the Caden Riders or Warriors or whatever they are. Still haven't figured out what to call them. Wait for him to come over here. Get a critical on him. Then boom, he is dead. Let's go to our map. We're going to put a marker right over here. Also, he drops the Ash of War Barricade Shield and the Knight Rider Flail. Sorry for going into my map so quickly for showing the items. Let 
Ah, stuck in the trees. Be careful, there are bats over here. Try not to draw their attention too much. Just look for the death bird. There we go. We're going to hit L2. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves. And he's dead. The death bird is going to give us the sacrificial axe. We can go back to our map. And we're going to fast travel over to Ajil Lake South. I'll meet everybody over there. head into our map we're going to put a marker here and then we're going to put a marker right about here and then a marker here a marker here and then lastly a marker here We're going to hop on Torrent. We want to take these guys out first. They're going to get in the way if not. Let's drink our flask. Summon in Latell. And right here, as soon as we kill this guy, we're going to be fighting a rune bear. So back up just a bit. Mattel's not doing a good job at taking aggro, is he? Oh my goodness. Get up, bud. That ruin bear was not having any of my shenanigans. Oh. And I got grabbed. Then the Ruin Bear is dead. So for killing the Ruin Bear, we'll get a Larval Tier. Now we can't do anything with the Larval Tier just yet. We're actually going to have to wait until we get to the next area. And we haven't even got... Well, I guess we're a little close to the next area. We got to get through Stormvale first. But once we get to Stormvale, we'll be able to use those in the next Legacy Dungeon. For now, let's hop on Torrent. We're going to ride over to the Grace. I'm going to sit at it so that we can refill our flask. Well, wondrous flask of physic and our FP. Let's ride to marker number two.
right here, we're going to see a ghost. Once it disappears, we're going to get an item from it. This is the Incantation Scarab. So the reason we got an item right here is this is where that painting that we got from the painter shack. This is what it, what it uh, was alluding to is right over here. We're going to switch out our weapon. We're going to put on the Bloodhound's Fang plus two. This will help with this next boss. Let's summon in Latell. Drink a flask. Try to stay underneath him. If you can. That was extremely close. I don't know how I survived that, but I'm glad that I survived that. Run. As soon as you see him fly back like that, he's going to spew out some fire. And there's Flying Dragon Ajeel. We get a Dragon Heart from him. And we also get a new Draconic Power. Real fast, let's get, a, get rid of Littell here. We're gonna head off east. We're going to use some poison arrows and shoot them at these egg looking creatures. See how it started spewing out that poison? It'll make it explode. You like overcharge it with poison by hitting it with poison arrows. And it makes this area a whole lot easier to get through. Get ourselves an Arteria Leaf. Go into our map. We're going to come over here to Ajil Lake North. Let's go ahead and take off Bloodhound's Fang. Put on our Lord Sworn's Great Sword 6 and our Claymore plus 4. We're going to head southeast down this road. Take these guys out first.
Oops, not what I wanted to do. Drink our Wonders Flask of Physics. Again, this is going to be a Knight's Calvary. You want to aim for their horse. I feel like this guy is a little harder than the last one. I don't know why. That's just the way I feel. To me, he seems faster. Get a critical. Then jump L1. We can heal ourselves up. Take him out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We get the Ash of War repeating thrust. Now we can fast travel over to the first steps. We're going to come down here. We see the tree. I think tree sentinel is what this boss is named. Drink our flask. Summon in Latell. I like to do a lot of jumping L1s. In, this guy can be very hard to read. And then he's done. We get the golden hellbred for killing the tree sentinel. Let's get rid of this marker. Grab the item here as well. We're going to talk to Kale quite a bit here, so I'm going to shut up and listen to some dialogue. Ah, it's you again. Always a pleasure. Care to purchase anything? Ah, then you met Blythe, did you? Wonderful. I'm glad I pointed you in his direction. He's boorish, blunt, and couldn't find his nose with both hands. But he's a good egg. <sighs> I think the two of you are sure to find the best in one another. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you when you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now, though the Elden Ring is shattered. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. Perhaps you don't need to hear this, but see that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard. 
Nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. Goodbye for now. We're going to rest at this grace in just a second and pass time to night. But before we do, let's put a few markers down. The first one should be right here. And then the second one will be right here. Pass time till nightfall. Now we can fast travel over to the War Master's shack. We're going to head just behind the War Master's shack here. Let's drink a flask and we're going to be able to summon in Littell. But first we need to summon the death bird. Just have to come right over here. And then summon in Littell. Which these goats are very obnoxious. Be careful for the bats. There's a ton of them. The Deathbird can hit the bats as well. Oh my goodness. Excuse me, sir. I was not ready for that. Be careful not to get too close to that ruined structure, or else Littell will desummon. This death bird is kicking my ass. You definitely don't want him down there. There you go. He's dead. A little harder than I thought he was going to be. We get the blue feathered branch sword. Now we want to fast travel over to Storm Hill Shack. I'll see everybody over there. Let's start making our way over to Stormvale Castle now. We're going to have a Silver Scarab just right here. Get the Ash of War Wild Strikes. Be careful, there is a guy on a Ballista. Try not to run down that path. Ooh, piece of candy. 
grab that golden rune one. Then we're going to head down this path here. Light this grace. We're going to sit at this grace. We're going to switch out our Ash of War on our Lord Sworn Greatsword along with Pass the Time Till Morning. Let's put on the um, Storm Blade. Put it on quality. And then pass the time until morning. Activate this summoning pool. And then right here, we have Sorcerer Rogier. Rogier, we will meet a little later into Castle Stormvale. But for now, we can just summon him in. Let's drink our flask and then switch over to where we can summon in Littell and step through here and fight our first main boss. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Someone must extinguish thy flame. Let it be Margit the Fell. He's not going to be a hard fight just because of your spirit summon and summoning in Rogier. Well, thou art of passing skill. Warrior blood must truly run in thy veins. Tarnished. Get a critical on him. Like I said, I like to do a lot of jumping L1s. One good thing about having multiple summons, it lets you take a breather and heal up if need be. So we got a talisman pouch that will allow us to put on one extra talisman. Let's go ahead and put on the green turtle talisman. We'll light this grace. We're not going to sit at this one. We're actually just going to run up just a little way here and light another grace. Why there's two graces right next to each other I have no clue 
but there is. We'll light this one. And then what we're going to do is head over to the round table hold, talk to a couple people, and then come back to Stormvale Castle and end the video. There's a little trick, by the way, to getting to the round table hold easier. And it's hitting triangle, then hit square, and then hit X. For anybody on Xbox, that would be Y, X, and then A. And then for PC, I don't know. <laughs> I'll see everybody at the round table hold. We're going to come over here. Talk to Sir Gideon. Uh, what do you need? I have little time to spare. Oh. Are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? Then you would do well to remember the first words of grace given to you. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so and the doors to the round table's inner chamber will open, and you will receive the wisdom of the Two Fingers. Once the wisdom of the Two Fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These namby-pamby tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Let's go talk to Fia. We're going to give her a hug and talk to her in secret. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. I was known as a deathbed companion. Where I come from, after I received the warmth and lively vigor from a number of champions, I lay with the remains of an exalted noble to grant him another chance at life. To do so is the purpose of my being. But before I could bear the noble into new life, I was awakened by the guidance of grace and chased from my birthplace. Pray, be kind. Despite all that, I still wish to be a deathbed companion. So please, let me hold you like this, as often as it takes. Then good day to you, my dear. Let's go ahead and use our Baldekin's Blessing so that we don't have our health debuff. Then we will head back over here to Stormvale front gate, or well, main gate. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go ahead and come over here and end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. 
If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.